Hello there and welcome. It's Stampin' Sunday blog hop day today again and it's Ruth here from artfulstampin.co.uk. So this month's theme is to create tags and I'm going to be creating a little set of tags with a cute little box for them to go in. Perfect for a lovely early Christmas gift for somebody who loves wrapping and sending tags with their gifts. So I decided to stamp on a whole sheet of A4 cardstock, it's Whisper White, and I used Crumb Cake with that beautiful Ponsetta stamp from the Ponsetta Petals set, and then went ahead with some pale, that lovely soft sea foam colour with to create the holly leaves, and then some other greenery around it. I then used the fabulous, you know I love it, the, that really dotty, uh, stamp from Waterfront and stamp that in grey granite all over it. So I wanted this really kind of pale, vintagey kind of background look, uh, just kind of not too in your face because I'm going to be adding some extra embellishments on top of it. So I wanted a fairly muted background. So then I cut out some circles with the two and a quarter inch circle punch and then I also cut out some ovals from the stitched framelit dies and then cut out some labels and some scallop circles using various other dies from other collections. I'll put a link in the description box below to all the products that I used for these tags. So then I started assembling. I'd already cut out loads of flowers from that poinsettia set and some holly leaves and various other bits of foliage and I just love how they're so textured I love that you've got the choice of there's an extra piece that you can put inside the die and it will create this indent into the cardstock to just create instant texture and I didn't even go and put any ink on the edges of these because I just felt it didn't need it so once I stuck all the flowers down, I then went to town using my gems and on the bigger flowers I put three gems in the middle and on the little ones just singular ones. And this is such fun, you don't have to use the same ones on all of them, you can have a bit of an experiment and see which ones are your favourite and you know, just just play with it and have fun. So incidentally I used that lovely little stamp from Joy to the World, sorry it's not, it's called... <laughs> The stamp says Joy to the World and it's from the Itty Bitty Christmas stamp set. So once I'd stuck everything down, I then cut some holes with using my faithful old crocodile and then used some ribbon from the Playful Pets uh, combo pack. I love this red ribbon with the stitching on it. It's just so pretty. So then these became my lovely hanging tags and I was so happy with these. So then to create the box, I actually used my grid paper and drew out how big an area I needed to contain my uh, tags. And I cut a piece of cardstock that was eight and three quarters by uh, five, and half, five and a half inches and then scored an inch all the way round. So that was the red cardstock that you saw me do. And then I cut a piece of white cardstock that was a little bit smaller than that. Um, I, sorry, I can't give exact measurements, but basically it was a bit smaller and then I scored three and a quarter inches all the way round to create a, a box lid. So as you can see, it's just that little bit smaller. So then I decided to decorate the lid of my box and I used some real red ink and the same poinsettia stamp that I'd used earlier and pop that in a few places. I then added some Pear Pizzazz green to it because I just wanted it a little bit brighter than the, the tags that I'd done on the inside, sorry the colours that I'd used on the tags. So this is just a really quick way to decorate a lid. Of course you could use some designer series paper if you wanted to but I love stamping my own background. So to make the box I just cut a little sliver into the 
uh, squares at the corner of the rectangles, uh, sorry, of the, of the card, and then folded them in and glued them into place. And then I wanted a divider inside my box, so I just measured the size, the total size of my, uh, the, the base of it, and then added some extra to create a folded kind of sticky out bit. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't explain it as well. <laughs> You'll see when I stuck it, stick it all together. <laughs> I'm really sorry about this, guys. It's late at night and I'm trying to film this and, and do the narration and yeah, my words are just not kind of like coming out right. Anyway, so here I am making the box and then sticking the inside panel together. I'll try and put some measurements on my blog so that you can you can see what I did. So there we go. As you can see, all perfect uh, to put my lovely tags in. So my I had three slightly large ones and I think six of the circular ones. And then I decided because I had a few of those flowers left over, I would decorate that as well. So thank you so much for watching. And if it's the first time you've ever come to my channel, please do subscribe and head over to my blog for better pictures of what I've created here. And please do go and check out all the other hoppers. Um, they are a, an, an amazing group of talented Stampin' Up! demonstrators and they never fail to impress me with their creations. So lots of love to you all and have a great day and maybe you can make some tags now for Christmas. Take care for now. Bye!